Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have another great collection from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts. This is for the love of stamps, Flutter By Focus, beautiful butterfly stamp. And then we've also got Blooming Butterfly, which is two cutting dies and together they make beautiful cards. This is what the stamp one looks like. My friend Debbie made this. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? It's so beautiful. I can't wait to show you what else we came up with. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how one lucky winner will be entered into a contest to win this card. And uh, yeah, we have all the details at the end of the video. So come play with us. All right, for this card, which is a five by six and a half inch card, first Debbie stamped on her Stampin' White cardstock, okay? And she used two colors of ink. First is, she started at the top and applied ink to the top of it using this earth brown ink. And then she used muddy boots towards the bottom part. So as you can see, it's sort of variegated from top to bottom. Went ahead and stamped that. And we re really recommend when doing that stamping technique that a stamping platform like the Misty, where you can continually stamp over it and over without having to move it, really helps with the coverage on this. It takes away that frustration, definitely. And then once that was done, she went ahead and covered her five by six and a half inch card with this beautiful romantic florals paper. I'm trying to see which one she used. I think it was this one right here. And then she matted her beautiful stamped image with this metallic gold paper. To sort of offset it actually, right here. So she, her mat of gold is slightly smaller. And then she took one of the gold um, straight line dazzle stickers right here. And this collection comes with the gold, the silver, black, brown, and white. There we go. And that's just a really nice one to have in your stash. And then she also used a gold script greeting dazzle sticker with love. So once she stamped this image, she did color it in with some tri-blend markers. She used coral. And that was to kind of go around the outside of the butterfly. And then the inside of the butterfly, she used light pink, beautiful. And then she also used this tan right here for the inside of the wings. And then you can see here, there's some green on the eyes and then the green outline on the leaves. She used dull green markers. Just beautiful card. And this is the card we're going to be doing our giveaway with, okay? So I'm going to tell you about that right now. So if, I don't forget at the end. So if you um, are watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, if you look down below at the bottom, you'll see a little YouTube icon. If you click on that, it'll take you to our Paper Wishes page on YouTube. And if you subscribe or already are a subscriber and you like and you leave us a comment, you'll be entered in to win this card. One lucky winner will be choosed based on their comment. And then we will reply to your comment and we will say, hey, you're the card winner and we'll give you some information and an email address. And the email address says customer support in it. And you click on that and it'll take you to your, our Paper Wishes webisode page. Be careful of scammers, okay? There's a lot of bots out there that take advantage of these kind of contests and they like to send you their own links. So if you have any question at all, um, you can always email us at our customer service, which is at the bottom of our Paper Wishes page on our homepage. Um, but you can also tell if you just go to the community page on YouTube and look, and I post a photo of the card and the winner's name. So yeah, we're trying to watch out for you guys and those scammers, those are nasty people. So this is the winner's card. Now we're gonna take the same stamp, and this one is using beautiful white embossing. Look at that, and then Debbie colored it in with some pixie sparkles, okay? So using, let's talk about the white embossing first. So using any one of our embossing pads, which is this clear ink, okay? Um, any one of these, and I'll link them all down below this card. Um, and then just white embossing powder, heating that with a heat gun. You get your beautiful stamped image. And then she took, let's see the name of these, Blue Wish purple affair and zesty lime and then she used those are in powder form she used our water brush to apply those right on there gorgeous um she of course stamped this um 
and in white embossed it on black cardstock. Okay, and so then the image was left, the butterfly image was left black, and then she's painted over that black with the beautiful pixie sparkles with a little bit of water. Look at the shimmer on that. Isn't that gorgeous? She also used one of our More Greeting Dazzle stickers, and those are listed down below. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, so the next one here, got a fall butterfly card. This one is using the cutting die. Use this piece right here. And I cut that from watercolor cardstock. There we go. And this is what that die looks like, cut from the watercolor cardstock. And I inked that with roasted pumpkin, my little applicator tool. And then the outside edge is teal. And then I used some polka dot vellum to put behind the wings. So let's take a look at this. Let's see how it works. All right, so you just take, this is the watercolor um, die cut image. And what I did with this is I did have to use when die cutting this because watercolor paper is quite thick. And it is tend to be a little bit fibrous. I had to put little shims on top of the cutting die when I was running it through my die cutting machine um, to put extra pressure on that to get that to turn out. So yeah, don't be surprised if you need to put a little extra pressure on that. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this pumpkin, a little applicator tool, and we're just gonna put some right down the center here. Just like this. I want it to be pretty even on both sides. There we go. And then I'm gonna take the teal. Okay, and these are dye-based inks, so they're gonna react with water. And I'm just gonna take the surface of this. Just like that. There we go. And then I use just a little bit of water. You can use your mist or two um, and spray it from, you know, six to eight inches away. I like to actually take that water and just spatter that because I like those chunky water drops on there. And you can just do that on all across that little flower pattern that's on there. And then, here we go, get that off. Once this starts to dry, you're going to see little spatter marks right here on there. There we go, I think we can see. There we go, you can see those spatter marks. Let this dry, or you could heat it with a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, and then once it's very dry, then I just turned it over and I applied some glue. And I'm just using for that our Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue there. And also the little glue applicator that we have, which is a small bottle that you can fill with this glue, is also really handy, and I forgot to grab that. But I just went around the edges of this, and then a little dot on each flower center all the way around. And then I just took a little bit of that paper, and I just placed it right there. Took some tiny scissors. Once that was glued in place, and then just went around wing and then I did the same thing to the other side of the wing and it was just really a simple technique to do and then once it was all dry go. once this was all dry I went ahead and added a little sparkle and I used these amber self-adhesive crystals and embellished it with that and then I glued it to my card front, which is a five by six and a half inch card. And the paper on the front of the card is from Autumn Garden, 12 by 12 patterned cardstock. And yeah, just glued the body down. And so the wings are just have a little bit of flutter there and made myself a little autumn butterfly card. All right, let's see, what do we got next? Here we go. This is a card Debbie made. This is a six by five and a half inch card. 
She covered her card with x-ray flowers, beautiful, beautiful paper. She used this one right here. So she used this little corner embellishment, gorgeous. And then she die cut her flower using, her butterfly rather, using the coordinating cardstock in the blue. And then she just used a little bit of ink and those same ink pads in different colors. And I'm sorry, I can't remember, but they are listed down below the video. And you can use the water brush again to just apply a little bit of that colored ink. And after she backed her butterfly wings in the same fashion that I did, she just used white cardstock. And then she folded her butterfly in half, okay? And put a little bit of foam tape in between. In fact, if you put a little bit extra foam tape, they would stay open a little bit more and you could see them right there. But she took the butterfly like this and then the second die is for the butterfly body. Actually it goes yeah, like that. So that you can use just half the butterfly or the whole butterfly, which I think is really beautiful. And then this is just a foam tape cutout that goes on the card. She did a gorgeous job on that. All right, you guys, so a fantastic collection. These are beautiful butterfly cards. And as I told you, the stamped one right here is going to be our giveaway. So I'm gonna repeat that once more. If you go to our Paper Wishes webisode page, and if you're looking for that, it's on YouTube, just look below this video and it'll say YouTube. Click on that, it'll take you to our YouTube page. And then you need to subscribe or be a subscriber and like and comment. And then you'll be entered into win. One of you, one lucky winner, will win this card. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. It was so nice to see this collection of beautiful butterfly cards. Can't wait for you to enjoy this collection.